watching it right now. I'm on the last season. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, the last season's real good, right? Because it's just kind of like bickering back and forth. And yeah. then I'm, I'm hearing like how great the writing is. I don't think I've, I've seen that yet. So yeah. I guess it's the this last season. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah, dude, it's pretty great. That's such a prick. Dude. Where's that? Is that like a Netflix show or it's something? It's a uh, HBO. Yeah. And uh Dit? No, nah, uh the, the daughter's hot. What's her name? Uh the redhead? I I don't know her real name. In the show her name's Shiv. Shiv. Yeah. It's like a it's it's a weird hot. Mm. It's like mm, and he like okay. She's Australian like, in real life. I looked yeah. her up. Yeah. I prefer yeah. weird hot. Like just oh. some, just break the template a little bit. It's yeah. exciting. Yeah, because yeah, Make you never want to go after the hot because you just can't. So I was always comfortable going after like the third hottest. Yeah, there. I'm like okay, <laughs> the I one definitely with not, not that all one. five fingers on her. Fingers. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, my yeah. success rate was like very well because I just went, I aimed at the middle. Yeah, and I love how that translates into you, who you think's hot on a show now. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. the oh, third yes. hottest. Yeah, third hottest. You see that That's chick mine. in the neck brace? Yeah, she's mine. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she can take a punch. Yeah, the quiet one. God. No self esteem there. I'd love for you so to go fucking. to like a district court and just watch the the parade that rolls in there and just fall in love, woman <laughs> after woman, yeah. in that place. I think HT's done that. It's, it's more of a share of time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Media courthouse. A year. He's an EMT. Oh, hey, uh, yeah, so, I mean, we can feel free to have heart attacks oh, or do whatever. What? Yeah, He's I'm, around. I'm, I'm due. Do you, know? have Nar- do you have Narcan? <laughs> yeah. Do you have Narcan on site? Yeah. Sweet. Did you, did you really pick up Narcan? Because we did have this conversation. Yes. Great. I'm yes. good. I'm clean. Sweet. Yes. Three days. I'm clean. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, dude, you live two seconds from my house. I'm like, this was such an easy commute. That's good, man. Yeah. That's the best. Like, I was playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater six minutes ago, which... <laughs> That's awesome. fucking awesome. Yeah. Where did you go to O'Hara or Ridley? O'Hara. And, uh, but I live in Prospect, like right by the Swiss Farms. That's oh, like yeah. right there on 420. Yeah. yeah. I'm, on, I'm in Glen Olden. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, uh, on Bonzel. That's like. Oh, yeah. Right behind like the Taco Bell. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, but that fucking train, dude. Yeah. It's all night long. It yeah. doesn't stop it, on the hour. Yeah. And right, the most glaring. Oh, yeah. I guess it's right here yeah. too. Yeah. But that thing, 430 in the morning. Right. Like, yeah, what are they hauling? The wasn't wasn't there a rumor that that thing hauls like weapons sometimes? I started a rumor that a, a tiger and a lion got loose on it. And that was you that started. That? I started that uh, because I don't think what? it's true. But it happened in the '90s, and I've told everybody so much Dude. that I think people think that now. I I was never like paranoid as to those stupid trains, and then yeah. all those things started happening with the explosions what's and up with like, that did that did that happen yeah before a couple years ago because now it's happening all the time these yeah i around. think they're just trying to i don't know they're wiping us out man yeah, we're, yeah. we're all being replaced yeah. you've COVID. seen uh, invasion of the body snatchers that's every doofus on facebook now is just a replica yeah i don't know what i'm saying you know, <laughs> in Ohio, but, I know, yeah. but i wholeheartedly agree yeah it's pretty yes. wild the, tra- COVID, the train Obama. fucking crashed yeah. or derailed or something. Yeah. And it was like the worst possible type of fucking chemical that possible. Yep. This yeah. one in India? Just, no, 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 that was just... In Ohio. In Ohio. Oh, Ohio. Yeah, yeah. And then there was just this cloud of pollution that just hung over this town right. and just yeah. like sat there and everyone started getting weeks. itchy and fucking yes. skin red. And, and like no one reported on it for like five days. Right. like, what the fuck? Yeah. And right. they're like, don't leave. And then they're like, okay, you guys should have left like 10 days ago. <laughs> <laughs> I might have, I might be making this up too, but that story, I think something came out that there was like a show that was like ten years prior to that that was a train getting derailed in that town in Ohio. Oh, whoa! I know. I'm gonna that seems it. like a good example of nepotism being alive and well. The yes. people that need to respond to, oh shit, what do we do? I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> I embarrassed my dad so much because he was like the top of the pen guys. Yeah, and his son was such a pussy. Oh, like man. I couldn't get in, and like they're like. Did, 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 did you ever hear them say that? No, but I didn't. I, yeah, yeah. Wiles, 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 yeah. Pussy. I mean, Wiles, Chris, Chris was a great worker. That yeah, dude, oh, I, yeah. I love that guy. And uh, but like, I just my dad ended up retiring and didn't. Doesn't in go, shame, yes, and Were doesn't go back like, to uh, service mechanic stuff. Yeah. Or? Okay, okay. Well, service mechanics a good job there. I was working at uh, Franklin Field. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we were doing. That's like, how you knew. Chris. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. we were like, I guess I was like twenty nine. He was like twenty six. Yeah. But that was 15 years ago. Okay. But we'd set up like the pen relays and shit. It was all, yeah. I loved it. It was the greatest job. That's awesome. Did you ever run into a guy named G down there? Service mechanic? Of the, I would uh, like to say yes. Of the Puerto Rican. I don't know. I should say that. Like I know. That, Johnny. Yeah. 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 What a beautiful. Yeah. Roll that. Roll, he cares roll enough that. To really, roll to really pronunciate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Such an authentic yeah. pronunciation. Delete it. Delete it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. So Blue Sun was the band. Blue Sun was the band. Yeah, yeah. I'm selling all the equipment right now. It's insane. It sucks. You play still? I, I for fun. Yeah. Which yeah. is uh, that's tough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's it's nice. I'm finally got to the the, the time now where I actually enjoy playing and listening to music for the longest time i would just like critique everything you know what i mean like, yeah like even we like go my through favorite that. bands yeah like yeah. i would see someone play a guitar solo i'm like ah, they're 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 ruining that run right there like what's going on <laughs> everyone's losing their mind they're just holding one note for 10 bars tasteless yeah. no creativity yeah. just your yeah. stock a minor pentatonic yeah. not moving me come on come yeah. on dude yeah. It's fucking yeah. Jack and Diane. Yeah, have, have a good Sunday. I've yeah. kept I've kept a pretty like busy schedule for like twenty years now, like four four gigs a week at least. Okay, no big and deal. No big deal. Yeah, but yeah. I don't. I hate like I can't wait to quit so I can like fall in love with music. Maybe again in like a year after. Yeah. Because now it's punching a clock. It's playing, and as soon as I go to the, like in the car afterwards, I put on sports radio. I don't even want to hear music. Yeah. I like my relationship with music sucks. Dude, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I hated that because I loved music so much. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So now it's just like, I remember like, like as a man, I've never been catcalled, but I have <laughs> been playing a show and been accosted by tonight. women going, Wagon Wheel! <laughs> Wha play Wagon Wheel! Yeah. Brittany wants to sing it. And then like, then you end up kicking a, a, a female in the head. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. Yeah. <laughs> And one hundred and one hundred times out of one hundred times, Brittany that wants to sing it doesn't know the words. No, she doesn't. Yeah, yeah. she starts I, singing country roads. Yeah, I'll let girls sing, but like I hate it, especially in this area when guys think that like, oh, you know, let me sing a song. Like, no, dude. Like, come on, you oh, smell man. like you, you're burping and shit. Like, Tommy. Oh, I, I, I forgot. Her. <laughs> anyway, the, yeah, the last fight I almost got into a guy popped, a guy <laughs> the last popped up. Fight. A guy popped up on stage at uh, the Feigning Goat, mm -hmm. and I could like he was the first guy that I noticed when I started playing because he was so fucked up. I, yeah. In my head, I'm like, this guy might be a problem. Yeah. yeah. And then he was just being loud and boisterous, but but kind of fun. Yeah. I'm like, all right, whatever. Yeah. This guy's putting some energy in the room. Then he came up on stage and started like fucking grinding oh, me from the back, man. and it was like, that, I respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I the respect man that did guy. it is in the room right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, Dude. it was f funny up to like yeah. a, to point. a point. Yeah. And then I was like, you fucking, you, like, I turned around, I was like, yo, bro, I don't know you yeah. like that. Like, <laughs> I, was, I was at Brewski's yesterday, and uh, there was a guy that came in from like their softball game, and they're yeah. always drunk on a Sunday afternoon, and he starts dancing, but he's not dancing in a way that's like normal. He's kind of making fun kind of thing, and he kept backing into the microphone. So finally, I push him. Then I turn, like, this guy's going to like fight me or something then he was ended up being like the sweetest nicest guy that wasn't drunk at all i judged but, so unfairly so I had, quickly yeah right i was like wow i'm like this guy wasn't gonna hurt me the guy really likes uh hold on by wilson phillips <laughs> which i was playing <laughs> i haven't yes. heard your version of that huh I'm i know sure. that i know that there's pain but hold on for one more day um, i'm sure it's stirring you oh we got the new the new pop just rolled in the new rescue look at him her her him i don't know let's lucy. check it's privates yeah no. lucy that's right? a pussy yep. what's her name oh, lucy. The first official dog of hoagie time. Look at Well, Chico will always be the first official right, oh, dog. Right, 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 right. Yes. In our hearts. In our hearts. Yeah, in our hearts. We got our calf tattoos scheduled for uh, for Fourth of July weekend <laughs> to memorialize the pup. I told Hep before he came in, I, I, I want to make this announcement. My favorite podcast. Yeah. Little Stinkers. Oh, out, no out kidding. Of every podcast oh. I watch, dude. Ah, HC. Every. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we got Jake and Tara. It's, it's fucking, it's incredible. Like, you guys' humor off of each yeah. other is awesome. Like that's my go-to. I watch Little Stinkers, and then I watch every mob, like uh, YouTube, like mob rats and stuff. Dude. The guys that like are, are like in witness protection. I watch them all night long in Little Stinkers. I like the thing about Little Stinkers. I like is that it's in four. It's funny because your guys like flow together. Yeah, three yeah. is. But the there's a story too. There's an informative kind of thing to it. it. Dude, it's cool. It feels like a campfire thing. Yeah, because it's like me and uh, John Del Calo, one of the uh, other co-hosts. Like we know nothing about true crime, or we don't care about it at all. But our buddy Mike Rainey is a psychopath. Yeah, and yeah. he loves this stuff. So he does like all the research himself. He kind of surprises us with all the information. It's funny you mentioned mob guys. We just did uh, Whitey Bulger. Did you? Yeah. I, so that's no, all out. about like, it. Yeah. I, I've studied his nephews everything oh i go down rabbit holes with fucking mob things like uh uh john Gotti jr all yeah. the kids and they're all fighting with this guy john a light and they're all rats dude Ra oh they're rats yeah, they're rats yeah they're <laughs> fucking rats <laughs> I better hope it, I sounds like you're, it sounds like an audition yeah i, I want in please contact our boy money mike if you're, uh, <laughs> you're looking for a family member but it's funny to say they're all rats into a microphone <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 aren't you supposed to keep it to yourself fuck 
Yeah. <laughs> what? You, when do you guys film? Uh, we usually do Tuesday or Wednesday nights. It, it all depends. Um, actually, local uh, nearby. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, it's it's nice. We do. We we'll usually do two episodes a night, or we do like a, um, a free one, and then like we do like an hour of Patreon content because right. we have like a bunch of stuff behind the paywall. Like uh, we do these things called murder field trips. Uh, I saw you guys were in Florida. Yeah, we went to Casey <laughs> Anthony's house. Um, <laughs> Dude, that's uh, and great. We, yeah, we visit all these spots like where she did a hot body competition. and She's hot as shit. Yeah, yeah so we do like basically the, the premise is it's like true crime comedy, but it's like we kind of cover like the uh, stinkerish behavior of people. Like, uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a serial killer. The fucking like, stinkerish. Yeah, so it's just like... Um, you know, like weird pranks they would pull as kids or funny things they yeah. would do during the investigation. Like like Casey Anthony's uh, prime uh, thing is like when she got arrested, she told detectives like she just was a liar, right? She was just like pathological. <laughs> so she took them to – she said she worked at Universal Studios yeah. to essentially get a free trip to Universal Studios with the detectives. And then we just like – they would walk her through the building. They're like – because they knew she was lying, but they wanted to see how far how- she would go with it. So she's like going through, and then like halfway through like her tour, she's like, "Yeah, I don't work here." <laughs> like, Mike, Mike claims military veteran status for <laughs> for half off meals at local eateries. I say the thing. <laughs> or you kiss army, you do. Kiss army. <laughs> Is that a love gun you got over? Yeah, there? <laughs> I actually played this on Saturday. It was like a a, a biker veteran group. Okay. I played on Saturday. Nice, but have, I'm playing like halfway through. I think it's like veterans, like a biker yeah. group. Halfway through the gig, it's at a VFW in like in like Pencil, like Alabama, part of New Jersey. Yeah, which is Vineland ish. Yeah, and I walk in, and like an hour into it, all the pagans start rolling in, Aww. and they got that they got on their jackets pagans. I'm like, Hold. I'm like, there's thirty of them here. One pagan comes up to me in the middle of the song with his cell phone out and shows me as I'm singing and it says pagan boys, and I and I go like that, and I'm playing. I'm like, and then he goes, and I'm like, for a second there, I'm like. Is he saying I have to play the song? I was like, no, I've never heard this song. And then he was like, sweet as pie, like, oh, okay. And I didn't know what you're saying. But for one second, he locked eyes with me and said, <laughs> and I was like, fuck. I think describing a pig as sweet as pie puts a hit on you. All. Oh, sorry there, Slugger. Sorry there, Slugger. You're in the middle of your thing. I'm so sorry. I thought I, maybe he was asking you to be like, hey, the pagan boys in the house. Yeah. No. It, it and that would be quite yeah. the soundbite yeah. for an enemy of the pagans to have. I know. Mike Barkley, supporter boys, of the ba, 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 ba. Okay. So fast, I would enter witness protection. Yeah. yeah. And then I'd be one of the mob rats. That's insane. I was uh, My first thought was like, how charitable are the pagans, man? They're showing up to these folks. I watched them and I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, I didn't think this was like a one percenter thing and then when i saw him do that yeah and then kind of give me no choice i think it was like merle haggard pagan boys and i and i just kind of give him this so i guess he was just saying i thought at first i was saying no but he was just like and i'm like no I, i've never heard that sir and he's like okay can you play africa by toto oh. what the, honestly, that's what Dude, he said yeah. i'm like whoa Dude, that's the total any, opposite ends of the spectrum do you know any bruno mars <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fine, but can you do How Will I Know by Whitney? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. It, it was cool, though. That's wild. You know what? Uh, I didn't realize how many actual gangs there were in this area. Like, maybe I'm just naive to the fact there are a shit ton of gangs, like, all over Delaware yeah. County. Like, there's the biker gangs. Like, I feel like there are a lot in, like, Upper Darby. Yeah. Just found out there's, like, gang gangs in Chester. There's one in Collingdale. There's one in Collingdale. Yeah, what? It's called the money. It's called the... Um, oh, there's more than one now, then. Get money. And, yeah, there are, like, 16-year-old kids that they're... they're like, like what committing do you crimes, do as, like just like egg houses or like steal cars. I, I guess I now? think they're doing yeah, stealing that's cars and shit. I, yeah. there, there's some violence they're doing. That's um, a that's a great question actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. If the Get Money Posse is listening, what do we'd do? love for you to we come could... on. Ski masks are fine. You can conceal your identity. Oh, man. We'd love to have you on an episode of Hoagie Time to explain all this to you, us. And we'll give them your Please address. Swing by. What are you guys on the Vice Network? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's where we air. Or yeah. whatever it needs. Without the theme of a little stinkers, we got to yeah. reach. We got to reach for themes. He makes that joke from time to time about like you know st- like that I set, claim military, which I don't. But yeah. one time I was playing at the Carousel and Sea Isle, and I'm playing, and I saw a buddy of mine, and I made a joke that like oh like you know any military guy. I'm like oh, and I said something like all military guys were just Votech kids in high school that weren't smart enough to go to college. And I just start laughing. God. And I, I'm being silly. And it's like, thank you very much, everyone. Taking a short break. You were there. I was, yeah, I was playing yeah, with you. Yes. Yeah. And then, in the middle of a solo. Playing the gig with you. Just yeah. Covers over, covers yeah, over you time. were playing with me. And this guy out of nowhere, it was like Bonner, Prendy Kit, yeah. like people down the shore. So I'm like, oh, these people all know I'm kidding. This guy walks up to me and he's like, what was that joke you made about uh, Votech and, uh, you know, 
people going in the army because they had no other options. I'm like, yeah, I was just kidding. But he didn't. He didn't break face or anything. Yeah. He was going. He was he great. He was smaller than me, but he would have killed me. Yeah. And he was kind of in my neck. And for like five seconds, I was just like bracing. And then it, it, but he punked me and then just said, all right, well, I, I know uh, that you were uh, making fun of us and I didn't appreciate it. And then he walked away. And that's how you can tell he, he went to Votech. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, he would, he would have killed him, too. He made Honestly, the joke. Yeah, if you can't take a joke, I mean, come on now. He yeah. made the joke as we took our break, and we're walking away from the stage, and that's when the dude confronted him. Yeah. And once I got the sense that this guy was for real, I just fucking moseyed on him. Thanks for that. Yeah, Thanks I, for dude, that. I completely You're admit. a real one. Yeah. <laughs> but I was just, I was bracing to get hit, and would have been quick. But yeah. and I And honestly, I kind of <laughs> felt like disappointed in myself afterwards. Like I was, not only did I get punked, but... That I felt horrible about the joke. Yeah, and I was like, "Fuck, man, yeah. I'm really, I really am an asshole." Nah, that's that's a that's I thought a fine it was pretty joke good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet you came back from that break. They were like, "Guys, American badass on three. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> yeah, proud to be an American. Yeah, let's do it. You guys ready for some three doors down? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's like the as you're entering Votech. That's the song that plays. Yeah, that or you're just like slowly just tuning down to drop D for some Godsmack, <laughs> bro. Dude, looking back. Like on the world now and the world then, I graduated from Bonner in 2000. You would think Votech, you're like, oh, like what are those kids doing? Or like, yeah. I wish like Dude. it was specialized. Like, and I could yeah. do something where I learned something and I got into it at 18 instead of I fucked around at Millersville for four and a half years. Yeah, got a degree, never had a job in my degree. Wow, I wish I knew history. Then. History, yeah, fuck. That's Never crazy. knew that. I wish I knew then that if just start working right away, get yeah. into a trade or something. And you would have been a millionaire by now instead of, I just got my first real job. Uh, like I think about ago. imagining like being able to do work on my own house yeah. or at least being able to like to fix yeah. things in Dude. less than like eight months. I can't. And I, I had a construction job for like a year with Dave Mack. And he's one of my best Shout friends. Shout out Dave Mack. Shout out Dave. <laughs> uh, and I, it's just not in me. I think Dude. something like that's got to be yeah. in you. Like you got to yeah. see things a couple steps down the line. I don't see anything down the line. Like I, all I could do is like pick things up and put them in the dumpster. Dude, my four-year-old girl, I'm going to be pushing her into the trades, dude. Trades, man. <laughs> She's going to be a fucking carpenter. Whether she's I, princess, yeah. nope. I have no skills Electrician, yeah. Whatsoever. I changed a uh, a light, a string on like a, one of those fan lights. Yeah. I just, because we ripped it out. Because my wife's really short, so she jumped and pulled it out. And uh, man, I sent the union an email that <laughs> night. Like, guys, I'm ready. Guys. Just, yeah, I'm, <laughs> you can draft me now. I'm yeah. ready to go. I might not need, even need to do the five years. Yeah. Maybe yeah, three. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, I'm I, ready. I think I'm past apprentice already. If yeah. you just go ahead and give me my own shop or something. My brothers and sisters, there's four of us. And the th oldest three, we all went to college. Yeah. My youngest brother didn't and got in the Pico at 19. Fucking house in Westchester. Fucking yeah. like and I that's bet the you, move. It was the time, move. You're man. like, oh, you're an idiot. You didn't go to college. Ah, I remember that being oh, a yeah. he, like never an idiot, but I remember my mom saying he's not, he's not a school person. Like that yeah. was a thing. Like, like that, you had to be apologetic for like moving ahead yeah. with like he, no school debt, right. tangible skills. Yeah. Like yeah, I went to college just to fucking party, and I mm. did a great job at it. But like, <laughs> you did. Looking back, you it's not—it's not the coolest thing at age forty-three yeah. to be like, I fucking drag you under the table, bro. <laughs> Your jersey's in you the know, rafters. Yeah. Can you help me keep my phone on, brother? Yeah. I didn't realize you majored in blacking out. That's yeah. awesome. Oh, and yeah. paying myself, dude. You, you go to college? <laughs> Jesus. I went. Yeah, I bounced around a little bit. I went. Love to it. Newman uh, College at the time. And then I was like, screw this. My band's going to make it. Yeah. We did yeah. not. Let's go all in. That's, that's our not. life story, dude. Yep. Yeah. And Let's then go all the like, fuck in. And then uh, very shortly after, I was like, all right, I'll take this job as a laborer. Did not last a single day. Nepotism got me a job as a construction fuck. office. And I was like, all right, cool. Nepotism I, dude, didn't get me in. Yeah, I do. I go, what's there, the nepotism button? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's hear the crowd. The crowd loves nepotism. Uh, nepotism. Uh, yeah. there we go. Uh, and uh, yeah, dude, I didn't know what I was doing in that administrative, like, co it was like a coordinator job. It was like yeah. a fancy assistant or whatever. And l legit, all I ended up doing was coloring in blueprints for six hours a day. And then the other two hours, I just like figured out lunch for everyone in the office. Awesome setup. That's once a fucking great job. Once upon a time, doing exactly that yeah. would allow your spouse to stay at home with the family, and you'd be making a ton of money. You'd yeah. be pensioned Dude. out. You'd be retired on pension these yeah. days, and you'd be doing a week or two in Wildwood right. every year, just <laughs> fucking dicking around. My yeah. old man. Apparently, that's what the other generation did. Yes, they my just old dicked around, because <laughs> yes. fucking, now we're doing, we're making up for their work. Yeah, my old man, 70. He retired from Penn, like, two, three years ago, mm -hmm. but back then, like, in the late 70s to early 80s yeah you had to like 
fuck up not to get a great job where one only one like uh, of the people yeah. had to work. Now you pretty much have to get lucky to get a job like yeah. that. And they had double pensions. Now Penn, he was grandfathered into it, but I, anybody that was hired there like in 2001, yeah. you're lucky if you have one pension. But back then they're just milking, uh, they're, they're making money retired more than they did working. It was a much more affordable lifestyle and much more, yeah. Um, yeah. Much, much better paying jobs, but the pussies were so hairy. So yeah. I, don't, I don't, you know, kind of all, kind of all equals yeah. out. Yeah. I don't know that it was all that great. I went to Miller's, like, like I said, and I remember running like central PA. Yeah. And there was a couple like Amish kind of farmy girls. And I remember hooking up with one girl, girls. one girl, like she was from uh, Mechanicsburg. Okay. And, yeah. uh, and I go down, like I'm in the dorm room, we're hooking up. I go down. <laughs> Is someone living under there? No, that's the sump pump. Yeah, uh, I go down and there's so better if someone was there's this under there. hey, bush guys. that's just popping out of the fu- her underwear. She's got like the cotton, like they're not sexy at all, but yeah. there's bush coming out the top and the sides. And right away, I made an excuse and like got right out of there. Ever since, like I, I can't have any any hair. Oh shit! There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just actual pubes you guys have. Yeah, back I'm, there. I'm just trying to show you what I'm working with. Is there, uh, there your pubes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's donating his pubes to Locks of Love right now. <laughs> they're, be- they're beautiful pubes. Got to delice them first. I read the fine print. You have to before you can so donate. I got a joke made on me yesterday that uh, are your pubes uh, as white as your beard and hair? Oh, you look so old. I'm like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Who the fuck said that to you? Was it not someone you were close with already? It was a JT Brewski, so it's like par for the course. The way you like, said it, it sounded like a passing vehicle. <laughs> like they still just stopped and got all that. They're like, oh my God. They're like, look at you, dude. They're like, are your pubes fucking gray too? I'm like, fuck you. Who the fuck was looking for a fight that badly? That's everybody there. That's crazy. It's dude. fucking Clifton. That's great. That's oh. are your pubes as uh as white or gray as you know the rest of your face and stuff, huh? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. Fight me. <laughs> yeah. 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 And this is Just definitely insulting. It's not weird that I'm talking about your pubes. Yeah. yeah. I know this is out of no it's seemingly out of nowhere, <laughs> but your pubes, man. What what color are they? I need to know. I don't even, yeah. I don't even I know. I need to know in the middle of your set, so I'm going to yell across the room. I don't even also, know. Also, uh, do you know any Harry Lafonte, Belafonte? Or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I got one request for uh, My Heart Will Go On yesterday, which was weird. Probably from uh, the same dude. Yeah, it was a dude. Stop in fact. What yeah, is he yeah, sleeping on? Sleep on? Gray pube. And I did. Yeah, gray pubes. <laughs> gray pubes. But like, this is that like cool musician, musician terminology that we'd understand. Uh now I, I I like doing like girl songs, but just finding a spot on the capo to kind of make it in my range. That's yeah. like what I do for fun to kind of pass the time. So like I'll try to do a song like that and like find which spot like I can kind of like talk sing it. That's awesome, yeah. dude. That is the move. I'll just fucking try to do it. You try to do it, yeah, man. You gotta uh, be. I did. Um, I fucking tried to do. I did. Um, fucking. Um, song by Wings. If I ever get out, of yeah, like band on the run, you. Yeah, yeah, band on the run, yeah, and it started off all right. Yeah. And then it's, when the when the when the when the when the oh, no. oh, fuck yeah, picked like one of the top ten hardest songs. It's got like different movements and shit in that song. <laughs> yeah, There's like I think like I think people are gonna be like, "Ooh, wow, he's really going for it this week." Meanwhile, they're like, "Fuck this, this sucks." Yeah, that's that's like, like an epic song. Do you sing? Yeah. Do you sing it all or just nah, play guitar? Dude, I did like backups for yeah. Bubba, and like that was it. Like I've Bubba's got a great voice. Yeah, he does. He's doing and the that, wedding band thing. Yeah, right? yeah, he's he's been pretty busy with that, which is awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, I. I think I'm slowly inching towards like uh, maybe doing like an open mic once by myself and just seeing it how it works. But I'm a guitar player, you know what I mean? Like, Electric, yeah. mostly. Yeah, 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 I like playing. I mean, when I'm at home, it's usually acoustic. But I mean, if I'm in the basement, huffing those dryer fumes, whoo! Yeah. Pedal boards on full effect. Got the whammy going. Oh yeah. Got a little uh, DD6 delay oh, action. Oh, that's a line six, oh, right? Man, to believe. A tube screamer. Why not? Yeah. Dude, I. I've abandoned the electric guitar altogether. Fuck. And when I loved music, yeah. I loved the electric guitar. Yeah. But now, I, like my acoustic, I leave it in the, in the truck all summer long uh-huh. and wonder why it's out of tune. Yeah. And like uh, the wood split in the. Yeah. No, I just take such poor care of it. That is not a nice way to treat yourself. I know. Soul. Dude, I know. I know. I, I, had a, I bought a $2,500 Les Paul years ago. Okay. And I got it and I got drunk at RP McMurphy's and I smashed it. And I broke, I split the whole thing. Out. It was never the same after that. Oh, and I thought man. I was being cool, like maybe edgy or something. But the eleven people there will never Dude, forget the passion you brought to the stage that night. I, maybe. Yeah, they don't I don't even think know anybody it was appreciated an American it. American guitar. They're like, ah, that was probably a fake one. But I remember <laughs> it was split, and they're like, "Why did you do that?" And I'm like, "It was a Les Paul standard." And after that, it was the the, the value 
Good play. I think I saw yeah. it for 300 bucks. <laughs> the Rock and roll, man. What yeah. stadium dude. were you playing? Nah. R.P. McMurphy's. Uh, it's R. basically like the uh, Chuck E. Cheese stage. I uh, do. that's where I kind of started doing comedy. When I got... Uh, Chuck E. Cheese? Uh, Chuck E. Cheese, yeah. <laughs> right after... I would warm up for the band uh, <laughs> before nice. everyone's uh, pizza was ready. Um, Great pizza, though. Uh, yeah, R.P. McMurphy's, when I came back... Uh, I was living in California for a little bit. I kind of like, that's when I got the bug. I was like, all right, I'm going to do comedy. I was working, I was like interning for Conan. And like they had me act in a bunch of sketches. And like people really liked me there. And I was like, oh my God, this is going to be something really awesome. And then I uh, came back to get married. And it was like, yeah, there's no fucking way we're moving. I was like, God damn it. And that's fine. <laughs> the but dream. also, yeah, they say like never start comedy in LA or New York because that's how people will remember you. It's like, you just suck, right? That's so why I was came like, back. All right, I'll, I'll work it out here. And, uh, yeah, I remember going to like Philly, like getting there at like seven o'clock PM waiting till about one fifty before I actually got on stage and I was like, fuck this. I'm never going to Philly again. And then I found out RPs was doing like a, a music and comedy thing. Yeah. Right. So went there and just went every single fucking week, found like my own crew of comedians who weren't getting on at these Philly mics. We all got good together and fucking started tearing shit up. What year? Was awesome. Is this around? This was 2012, 2013, okay. around that time, 2014. 10 years, yeah. Yeah. Is that when you got into it? Like, were you doing any kind of, other than the music creatively, like after like college, like yeah. your 20s, on, when did comedy start? Comedy started, it was like that last year of college. Like, I took a class before I went out to Conan and humor writing at Temple, and uh, I was terrible at it. I was like, all right. <laughs> I tried because I was like the guy saying, like, you know, cracking jokes in between songs. Or when the set was over, I was like, oh, I make the band laugh all the time. I could do it. And then I was like, nope, can't forget it. And then when I went out to uh, Conan, um, I worked as like a monologue intern. So, like, I didn't write punchlines, I just wrote the setups to the jokes. And then, like, I would get the batches from all like 15 writers who would contribute to these jokes every day whoa it's like 200 jokes i would see this is during like the romney and obama election <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean like so i'm seeing all this stuff about new newt gingrich's moon colony and all this shit but it's like 200 jokes every single day i'm reading and just learned just from reading that like picked up on the patterns and the formula which is, it's different than stand-up but it's like it gave me enough confidence to be like oh i can write a joke better than the one on page 16 that like really like these it's a quantity business yeah. so this mm -hmm. is somebody phoning it in and the I, like, I could maybe write one better than that and then that's what yeah i, kind I was, of yeah spearheaded that whole yeah. thing yeah so kind of the thought of like well maybe i won't be the best but i won't be the worst yeah. so let's just yeah. let's just start yeah this is a professional and i can do i think i can do one better than this that's interesting that yeah. you said you would just write the setups yeah yeah really mm -hmm. yeah so then just like an assembly line somebody would come with the punchline and yeah, so it could be basically that's crazy. They, yeah so the way it worked then is like my job I was at TBS, but if it was a, like a network like NBC, it would have been like a paid research job where you find all the headlines, you just rewrite them okay. in their style. And then the writer's coordinator, coordinator takes that from me, sends that out to all the writers. Then they set all, send all their punchlines to the writer's coordinator, like make sure all the names are removed so it's like a blind process. And then Conan would legit pick those every single day for the model. He would have the final say. Yeah. So he was actually like... He yeah, was in, he, uh, invested in on that level. Oh, yeah. Where it's yeah. actually his yeah, show. I'm, he's not just yep, face. Yeah, he would pick them. He would do like a thing during lunch. He'd pick like um, anywhere from like four to like 20 jokes at lunch. And then like there would be another meeting right before air. And like whatever number it was would probably get cut in half right, uh, right before air. So what's Whoa. he like as a guy? Dude, the best. He seems like an ace. Yeah. 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 The, Funny. The yeah. man. Yeah. So he's just like he is. Like just you would. How he comes yeah. off. And even more gracious, like, when the cameras are off. You know what I mean? Like, the nicest guy. Knew my name, and, like, that sound, doesn't sound like a big deal. That but means like, a lot. Huge. He had a staff of, like, 250 people, and, like, I remember some of them coming up to me when I was there, and they're like, how does he know you? He doesn't even know my name, and I've been here two years. And I was like, that's... And then, that's We're not, dating. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're, that wasn't, we've slept uh, together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and, but also, it wasn't like a, he didn't care about them thing. It was more like they worked on the opposite side of the building and didn't really interact with him as much but that's great was it was luke cunningham with him at the time you no, were no no he was so found he was, right yeah he was he was always found yeah. Yeah. yeah that's uh you're out there by yourself at that time yeah yeah like my uh fiance now wife stayed back and she was working and, and so yeah. when you come here and you kind of you're doing like helium kind of stuff up at mike's mm -hmm. and you just had your special yeah yeah um Which a soft one was yep. awesome thanks um, man. Yeah. incredible 
And uh, it. so it's what, a soft, soft one. Yeah, well, a soft one. A very soft one. Yeah, soft, yeah. 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 be sure you guys check that out on YouTube. It's Jake Matara's yeah. soft one. And you, how do you, you get there? Like, uh, what is that? Like a couple year kind of build up kind of thing to where you're like, you know time. what? Yeah, that was um, from like day one to like um, I guess eight or nine years in. I recorded in uh, 2021. So like it, it was still while like if you some people comment like oh man that audience sucks and I'm like ah god damn it uh, yeah. but it's because also it was limited capacity it did sell out no big deal <laughs> limited capacity sold out but everyone sold was out. still spaced out and had to have masks on when they weren't eating so it was like the worst time to actually record it yeah and uh, also it's like nobody was going to go take a chance on a, like a nobody comedian at that time so like <laughs> instead it was like. Pe- Friends and family, people right. like you know, who are like acquaintances who all came. So they've all heard the shit a million times before, and the whole time they're there, like trying to support me. They're also like, I hope I don't get whatever strain of COVID. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a general like yeah. fear in the air that should have been really there be huge yet. fans yeah. to take on the risk hey, of coming to this come show. Come to my show and almost die. <laughs> and the last thing you want to do is pump in like yeah. fake applause because oh, that yeah. that yeah. never works. Yeah. Hello, it's good, baby. Stop it. Love you guys. No. Love you guys. Now, do you do, you do that regularly, like still, or like cause, um, with little stinkers? Yeah. And are you involved? Do you do uh, like behind the board type stuff too? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Like we have a producer, um, and then um, like we'll, all of us will kind of do something um, after that. Like, I'll create the graphics. I made like we just have this new intro. Um, this guy, very talented musician, Sam Harvey, made us a, a theme song. Yeah. So we just took that and then I just made like a little. Yeah, with montage. the distorted guitars. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. Shout um, out Sam Harvey. Uh, yeah, dude, he rules. Um, and then um, yeah, we have people send us fan art, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I, we. I mean, the only thing I really do besides like the graphic kind of stuff is uh, like just if we're planning a trip. To go like another murder field trip or that's or so funny. Like that's what I help out with. Yo, twenty so twenty three and me, the uh, the DNA thing yeah. that I've I've shared my results on here before. I really think the Casey Anthony is like my fourth or fifth cousin. Get the hell out of here! Really, for real? You should have um, a family. Function. Let's find that I, uh, out and then we'll put like a link because I, I would love dude, to. Dude, I um, I found she's, it. It's said so it's a Casey Anthony, like fourth cousin, no picture, yeah. um, but same <laughs> year of birth. Whoa. So it's it's quite possible. It doesn't say where Whoa. either. Wow. Oh shit. And I've, I've shared this before. I would like pod. to explore. Yeah. But what also came out on his twenty three the bombshell the bombshell reveal. He's like one percent. Point two. Is it point two? Point two percent. African American. Hell yeah. Somalian. Yes. Damn. So that means you Dude. can say it. That's yep. right. Yep. <laughs> yes, it sure does. <laughs> Anytime sure you want. Sure does. Yeah. Because, I'm getting a lanyard yeah, made yeah. for the summer just so I can pres- have it presented. Yes. He can say it. He stripped the power out of it. Because and by know. it, I mean, I'm the captain now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what, what I mean. mean. Yeah. That's it's going to be my tagline all summer. I am the captain now. <laughs> no, Uncle Mike, you're drunk. Go to bed. <laughs> How'd you meet uh, Mike Rainey? Uh, through comedy. Yeah. Comedy. Yeah, we have a uh, mutual buddy Jeff, who I think he was like working with in the day. Uh, so one day, we, like we just met all met at a diner, and I remember meeting him, and he was just talking about Charles Manson and kind of like <laughs> how he was like admiring what like not him as a, like what he did, but like just like his effect on people. And I remember leaving that with chills. I'm like, this guy's fucking insane. <laughs> He's <laughs> insane. He's funny, and I kind of know yeah. know him. Like I've known you over the years. I've known yeah. who you are, but I yeah. didn't meet. Uh, but Mike. I remember his face almost from Bonner. I think he went to Bonner. He's a few years older than me, but I, I know I've seen him yeah. before, and I believe his mom worked at Bonner because I was like in student council and was stuff. Mrs. Yeah. Rainey? Yes. The I librarian? Be- or, I, or something I be- like that? Yeah, because like some, one of the, no, she was like one of the main office She was like an administrative people. Oh, office okay. people. Right? But I've heard him say on your um, pod Whoa. that his mom worked at his high school, and if yeah. he went to Bonner, that that's her. Whoa, she was a major That's player. That's right. Yes. So she when was I a major player, yeah, well, she oh. was like well, one she, of the. Not really. She just paper clip shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking of Miss Rocco. You're thinking Miss Rocco. Yeah, she was like she the backup of Miss Rocco. Yeah, yeah. She, oh, she just died too. Yeah, Miss Rocco yeah. just died. So I knew that somebody came in and said that. I was like, I don't know. Yeah, but she was yeah. a nice lady. But Mike Green, like I, I, I so I always kind of saw his face before, yeah. but I bought his book. Oh, which was awesome on perks yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's great That's book. if you haven't checked it out not to be his uh wait like yeah. deal man, Please. man but dude it's the funniest book it's just 
a collection of Facebook posts of him on perks uh, over the like the last decade when he was hooked on them, saying the most <laughs> egregious shit. And then the book is just the Facebook post, and then him kind of like writing commentary about it. And he has like he has the book itself, which is great. It's so fucking funny. I've read it like three times. It's so, so funny, far. and like yeah. coming from like I, like I kind of know that whole thing, like. It takes you to like this euphoric place. You know, he knows about perks. Where, oh yeah, they're the best. Yeah, yeah. They're fucking awesome. Boy, does and uh, they, the way he like he's writing, like you feel inside that sincere. But like, yeah, a few times, like oh, if anybody needs help moving, that's hilarious. Like, yeah, you didn't even have a car, dude. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's great. yeah, yeah. He would say stuff like, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, just pick me up. I remember one time. I think it's the only thing in the book that I. Which it showed that I actually liked, thank God. Mm. But it was like, uh, trees are beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I think I want to start learning about trees. And it's just him sharing an article on spruce wood and like just tree. It's a picture of a tree in a yard. Just yeah. like the like the wildest thing. Like I remember like my family sometimes like saying, stop making these edgy jokes on there because they're coming off like, yeah. you know, not funny. Oh. <laughs> and then of course I'm like, yes, I am funny. And then we, uh, not really. Let me express yeah. myself. <laughs> yeah, we, we have a tyrant in the White House. Yeah. I will not. Stand for this. Oh, I was heavy into that for a couple of years. What was dude, what? I will not be silenced. <laughs> yeah. Fascism will not take root here. What's dude. wild is basically he published what everyone in their right mind would pay a company to find and delete for him <laughs> to get a job, which is insane. The idea is great. And then I um I read that he wrote a book years prior. Yeah. During his like run. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. Some people said it was incredible too. Yeah. He I has didn't read that. Terrible yet. advice uh for parents. So you wrote a parenting book, advice book That's on perks. Yeah, and it's, uh. it's, it's literally the most irresponsible thing you can do. But, and you don't know you're doing it at the time, but you're spending every extra dollar yeah. you have. So how can you do anything with your life? It's, it's so basically you're, you're treading water. And what do you yeah. just feel like so like... It's you feel like... So like your heart goes out to everything? Not, like you well, just get so not, invested well, in it? Ex- I used to love ecstasy too. Because it seems like, like looking at the old perks stuff... <laughs> Yeah, that that well, was more stuff seems like so gentle and like naive and innocent. It's not yeah, aggressive. It's not euphoric. Like the euphoric kind of thing is more ecstasy. Like, oh, I want to help. It's just more like every problem can be pushed off to the next day. Yeah. And you can just, you know, relax and everything will be OK as all your money is just dwindling down the drain. But also it's like mm. he's, he's on a I think the book starts with him in the uh, the Disney trip with him and his family. And he's just talking about how he's in so much pain and like, fuck his life. This is the worst fucking trip of his like he's there at Disney and he's like talking about reaching his hand up his ass to pull out shit because he <sighs> yeah, that shit so, bricks up. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh. So it's just like, oh. Dude, and like just talking about the physical pain it caused, like he was like immobile, had to get a wheelchair at Disney. <laughs> like it's just, it's insane. And this is the stuff you guys talk about. And it's yeah. great because Mike, he's got like this encyclopedic knowledge of like this, the subject matter with yeah. this. And you and John just kind of just let your natural comedic chops kind of go off of what yeah. he's saying. Dude. And like the best is when like you'll say something. And like he'll just give you a stare, and then it'll just be like this stare down between you. Uh, yeah. and that's like that awkward kind of thing is is what makes me laugh out loud. Dude, he's yeah, he's the best. Talk about the man. What's Mike the uh, uh, that's, uh, is it on Perks dot com? Uh, yeah, I think it's on Perks dot com. Is you can buy you the can book, buy it off the little. Yeah, if you want to check out what we're talking about, we'll yeah. link it up. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. But what, the what's the Jake Furman? What's oh, Furman? Jake, so Furman's in my middle name. Okay, right? so uh, it's uh, it's whoa. Yeah, you believe so, it's Furman? Yeah, uh, it's it's hard to explain. Furman. For, yeah, it's like F E R M A N, but a lot of people think it's fur man. Be a great name. I thought for it like was a kind of a pussy insult. fiend in yeah, the yeah. 70s. Oh, dude. oh, that's Uncle yeah, Jimmy. Yeah. They call him fur man. Oh, you know, I, I don't shave at the a pool thing. hall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was an inside joke, but another, like, and you, if this is like giving up the secret of the show, yeah. please don't answer. But <laughs> no, I, I might have not saw the first episode. Yeah. With the, the, um, the show. Uh-huh. Uh, what's it? The, uh, the impact- when you flip the coin, a practical yeah, jokers. Practical jokers yeah. Now, is that something that's ever like, wh- where'd that come from? The Impractical I mean, Jokers. Our buddy John Del Calo with the other co-host, very funny comic. Shout uh, out, John. Yeah, he uh, every week he just wants to flip a coin, and if if it lands his way, we're gonna do an episode of Impractical Jokers, like just talking about them and like the fun stuff they do and about the show. And it, unfortunately, it hasn't landed. <laughs> We've done over a hundred episodes, I think, now, and he's Lady Luck is every still time there's an episode. Those, man, those guys are yeah. really the best. Yeah. Like, oh, we got guys rule yeah. hard. Yeah, and then they'll flip it, and they're like, "Ah, oh, guess we're doing uh, the serial killer." <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I yeah. it just starts off the like the BTK so, killer. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, I, I was in Atlantic City when uh, that news conference came out that they caught him, and it was the yeah. picture of him BTK? finally. Yeah. yeah, it was like a Sunday in like 06, I think, or 05, down AC, and it mm. just came like, oh my God, they fucking caught BTK. Yeah, and yeah. his matter of factness with what he did uh, and the way he explained so it. So I like, would just roll in there yeah. and fucking kill them and rape them. They're like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> yeah. dude. That guy, yeah, that is insane. Somebody, you do that, and then you'll do, like, like you said, it's not always like a crazy scene, like Marlon Brando. Yeah, you know, we just like, did Marlon Brando. That was pretty wild. I mean, he has some allegations against him, I think, but uh, I don't think we drove dove too deep into it. But, um, yeah, he's been great. Phil Spector was. Phil Spector, I saw I mean, that he one, actually yeah. murdered someone. One but, person. But And here's, here's some crazy, is his uh, son commented on our video on YouTube. He watched the episode. Wow. And, like, cleared up some of the facts that we had, like, like maybe like a like what we heard was a little incorrect, uh. So he's like, I think there was like an in, there was a thing. Where he started getting paranoid, so he was running around his compound dressed as Batman. Clearly, uh, yeah, and, that's how you blend in. And he he like kind of corrected it a little bit. He's like, it wasn't all the time or something like that. Yeah. But it I'm was slandering my father. Yeah, and then, interesting. We'd love to have you call in for some <laughs> <yeah>. bonus content. <laughs> and dude, we so another one we did was uh we did a mini stinker episode on the Swiss cheese pervert. Local Ooh, hero. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Local hero, if you don't know. Well, in Mike's research, he discovered that the Swiss cheese pervert uh, is still, like, he's a, around, alive, well, local. And, Not locked uh, up. No. He's the owner of his own... Uh, Landscaping uh, company. Uh, uh, HVAC company. <laughs> <laughs> I smell nepotism. In the Northeast. <laughs> nepotism. Um, yeah, all of his Fuck. uncles are cops. Yeah, and, so uh, that, that's got to be it. But Mike started, we, we started playing audio from a video on the Swiss Cheese Pervert's Instagram <laughs> of him. It's just from like point of view from the Swiss Cheese Pervert putting out his fat, bloated foot, petting a, a pot belly pig that he owned. He's like, Breathing heavily into the With eyes foot? of my yeah, he's like, who's a good girl? Who's a baby oh. girl? Oh. Yeah, and it's so like, creepy. Yeah, dude, and there's like three or four of those videos. And Mike, we played the audio, we laughed about it, we had a good time. Then when we posted that, we did an episode about it. A bunch of people tagged the Swiss cheese pervert in the comments, and then like they all like went on. It was like it shouldn't have happened. So he has a he has a name. Yeah, oh. uh, his name is Robert Polson. <laughs> all right look him up yeah, yeah, yeah. No. no that's uh that's the fight club reference i think we have our episode title <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah what's uh, what's also yeah. great with mike he like no notes like oh, he literally dude. he has to do research and he he needs no like check or anything like he it's, yeah. has like uh, kind of like small details and shit he remembers yeah. each way through the story i'm like oh fuck yeah like every yeah he, he must he, be that psychotic it's it's pretty wild um I would say uh, the Swiss cheese pervert thing. When we tagged the him, his wife started attacking us hardcore, sending us threats of uh, litigation and suing us and all this yeah. kind of stuff. He's actively married. Uh, yes, and she's active. ride or die enough to yes. go come to his aid isn't that, online. Isn't that impressive. Yes. Very impressive. So Mike panics at first, like within like when it first happens. Like, oh, we got to take this down. Blah, blah blah blah. And then like twenty minutes later, he's like, you know, what, let's just keep it up. Let's keep it up. And. Uh, it's insane because like I saw the messages coming in and they're like you guys you pieces of shit leave him alone he's did his time yeah. blah, blah, blah. and like I mean we're not we're, we weren't trying to start a witch hunt or anything like that we're just have fun yeah uh, but something happened between the three or four messages and I think a f maybe a phone call between Mike and the Swiss cheese pervert's wife that the final message is like well not the final. Uh, the the concluding message of the argument was like, well, I think what you're doing is very funny, and you have a lot of potential, and I can't like wait to see what you guys do. Best of luck, Mike. So now she has an eye for talent, dude. Then she starts sending Mike a bunch of suggestions for stinkers, like people for us to cover. It's insane. And then, and then it got to be like too much. Like I think she just started sending him crime scene photos. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and he was like, all right, I gotta. I got to like back off this and just, well, that's cool. It's someone encouraging that yeah. like you could get a, not only can you do not only can someone do that yeah. and I might this summer yeah. <laughs> expose yourself with a Swiss cheese edge to it, but you may not lose your loved ones and yeah. they may even come to your aid to defend you. Give yeah. it a shot. And even third parties were defending him. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, we it's might have to wild. give this one a shot. I w let's do it. I mean, perfect for hoagie, time. hoagie time. Yeah. 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 Well, what's yeah. great, you know, what you said about your the fans, I got a hoagie yeah. piece the fans for will you. comment like that. That also that it's cool that they're le actually commenting and, and giving suggestions on what to kind of cover yeah. because the way that the show is kind of like formatted, like you said, it's like a fireside kind of chat thing. Yeah, yeah, is that people do want to hear like, oh, here's one guy research that, so it kind of leads to yeah. instead of running out of you know material or anything. It's yeah. always got like a it's based off something. 
And then you guys go from there. Yeah, dude. So it's so freaking cool. Like even the live, we do live episodes from time to time. And like, it's so cool. Just like the, everyone in the chat who like really helps like steer the conversation. And it's like a, definitely like a community thing. Like everyone who like listens to it, it's just, it's the best. It's everyone's so cool. That's awesome. Yeah. We lo- we love your podcast stuff. Oh, yeah. And you've also done some, uh, some sketch comedy videos. Oh yeah. Gillian Keeves. Yeah. And- yeah. That was, that was fun. Uh, I had like two lines and it took me 50 takes. It was, uh, is that the one <laughs> where you playing that out of tune guitar and dressed yeah. like a lesbian? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, what do you call it? Um, it was, uh, yeah, I think it was like everyone was improving like so well. And like, I was just kind of like, instead of like being in like that mode, I was just like enjoying it. You know what I mean? So but then I came time for me to do my lines, like in your head, like you just like go off the, whatever the last person says. So I was just like completely blank. And they're like, dude, you have two lines. Like, what are you doing? I'm like, I, <laughs> I'm just watching you guys. I'm having fun. Thank you. Yeah, I've, I've experienced in that too. I was, uh, I'm sure you already recognize me as Pat, as Pat McKella from the, uh, Wait a minute. Real House Husbands of Philadelphia. Wait a minute. Yeah. yeah that's how I know you. Yeah. 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 So I, I've worked with McKeever. Uh, oh, he's the best. Yeah, me and uh, and Pat, but Tommy Pope. Mm-hmm. Um, he he got me into the, the Real House House. It was me and McKeever yeah. and Luke Cunningham, mm-hmm. the four of us. Yeah, yeah. Like three. That was like, very stand- early on. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, yeah it had to be over tall. ten years ago. It, it was. It yeah. was at this point. Like three, like yeah. stand like stallion stand up comedians. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm there. So like the one like the one scene I had was like, oh, I was all cap. Like like dude, I fucking stumbled over it. Yeah. I remember Kira being like, come on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm Catholic, all Catholic. And they're like, dude, no, did you hear what you just said? <laughs> yeah. And then the other the other thing I'm in, I had lines. Yeah. But all they kept was Luke going, Are you chewing gum right now? And I was like, why should I not? I was fucking uh, yeah. hung over from Maggie O'Neill's. Yeah. And like they kept that but not my line. Like, the footage was so at Maggie that. O'Neill's, right? That was, when, that was when they wrote me out. And Pap- Second episode, I was written out. Okay. Uh, then, uh, then I heard Papa. Uh, then like, it was they established that I was on the beef and beer scene. Yes, I was yes. blacked out. I was coming from a gig at Barnaby's Havertown. Yeah. Papa's like, pull- shut the fuck up. I pulled up, blacked out, set up, and they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna f- film this. Great." Um, <sighs> yeah. In and out. I'm Pat McKayla. Maggie See, O'Neill. See, I read his water ice. Maggie O'Neill's legendary. Oh, yeah. County. Bar, and I was yeah. in the background of Samesies with Chris O'Connor oh, being. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was in the background. I didn't know you were in the background of that. That was like the yeah. one when I came back. Pretty from, versatile. I came from back from California that like had just come out, I think. It was like 2012, 2013. Yeah, right? I think, yeah. Something like that. What's and, the what, yeah. what's the, like, your focus in the future? Is it is it sketches? Is it yeah. little stinkers? What what takes like the cake? You know, I have, I mean, I just, I love cake. So any cake <laughs> I can get cake. my hands on. Carvel. You know, cake means yeah. something Carvel. else too yeah, these yeah. days. The young oh. kids are taught to teach me a new definition of cake. Really? Yeah, but I mean, fucking big butt, dude. Oh, yeah. Yo, your boy's caked out right here, bro. What's funny about butts? Tell when me. I was young, like uh, like grade school, high school, even yeah. college, it, I was t- tits. It didn't even matter if you you could have been in a wheelchair. I didn't even know what happened <laughs> like below your belt. <laughs> so until I was about twenty, is that still a, a deal no, breaker? This is what happened. Wheelchair? So, no, no, not not at all. We love the handicapped here on yes, time. Do. Don't don't misconstrue this. Um, but it was all the disabled. disabled. I don't know it was that. everything the disabled. waste disabled. up. We love you guys. Something happened around thirty years old where that didn't matter at all anymore, and th- I was all about ass. And like as an older, you know, forty-one year old, that's what's important. Did hip hop become more of an influence in your life? I was a big hip hop guy early. You know, and you that. were still like it Public still Enemy. Wasn't... No, I was, I was Sir Mix a lot. Yeah. It's funny. I was Flavor Flay for Halloween one year. Oh yeah, Sir Mix a lot. Although known as the Butt Guy, you remember his second follow up single to Baby Got Back. I don't put him on the Jane's glass up. where it was nice. all about throwing tits up on glass. That's awesome. So he was showing he his range. He's not I don't just think anyone knows that song, dude. Yeah. Good, like <laughs> maybe we can link to it. Baby got back was the breakthrough single. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then it was put him on the glass and it yeah. was, a, it was one of those videos that MTV could only show after midnight. Right. Um, and it was um, like chicks in the shower yeah. where they would blow out the, the pussy, but they would just shouldn't them throwing their fucking tits up on the glass of a shower. Like legit, and you would see it. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, and the, nah, maybe they'd cut it. I don't want to exaggerate, but and then also onto the windows of like cars getting washed. It yeah. became more about breasts. Yeah. Super yeah. versatile. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess it's like your taste buds change every seven years. I just know with me, it changed at about thirty. But speaking of like Sir Mix a Lot and those videos and shit, yeah. while I was playing that biker party with the pagans, yeah. I'm playing all these fucking. Like, I'm playing like like um, milky, just yeah. bags of I'm, milk. I'm playing like Amy, really looking great with that vest and the Eagles and shit like that. And then finally, some guy comes up and he's like, "Can you play Regulators?" They th- I'm like, I'm looking. I'm like, these guys, no, no fun way. They're like, he's like, they're just like us. He's like, they're all just like us. We go into it. 
they fucking love it. They're all just they're pagans that I wouldn't That's even great. think would listen to anything. And they're I was like, afraid you were to say, and they just yeah. set the cook on fire. No, they, I'm like, uh-huh. oh my god, I'm like, they're like yeah. fake pagans. I, I didn't mean that. You're, you're I saw a dude posted up at Wawa on um, Springfield Road, <laughs> not uh, Bormer Pike, just wearing p- a pagans like jean jacket with like yeah. the big patch on the back. Like, what does that mean? Like, it, is, is, isn't that like pagan in training? Pag, pagan is basically, it's a one percenter. So the one percenters means that January 6th guys. No, 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 it's not, oh, that doesn't have anything to do with that. But the one percenters mean that you're in an outlaw, you're an outlaw bike gang, which means they're in the fucking selling meth, drugs, prostitutes and all that stuff. Yeah. The rest of them are just like people that like to ride their bikes. If I'm wearing a vest that has a huge pagans. That's like me saying about the, the military, back. you can't do that. I won't do it. For all of our pagan fans yeah. out there, I'm not thinking about doing this. But isn't that an invitation to get pulled the fuck over? Like, aren't you being like, hey, check me? Yeah. Uh, it's like wearing a fucking big pot leaf shirt. I don't think I've they learned give not a to fuck. do. Like, they, they don't think like that. They're outlaws. Like, they'll fight. Like, like, yeah, they'll, they'll fight. fight the cops. Yeah, they'll shoot. They'll fight. Yeah, they're outlaws. Sweet. Like, I, like I'll worry about everything and look at my rear view mirror. They don't give a fuck. Just seems like, just puts a target on your back unnecessarily. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a prospect yet. If you're pagan takes, and you yeah. like our show, please reach out. It Hobie takes time. a year. Does it? it really? Yeah, yeah. It, takes, it, it takes a year before you actually earn your, uh, your stripes. stripes or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't become officially initiated until that. Like, they keep you at arm's length for a long time to wear you down. I did read something. on. You ever ride a motorcycle? Oh, man, no. But I've held yeah. on the back of one. <laughs> early dude. No, I don't. Dude, this is how pussy I am. My dad. This guy's no shirt on. My dad and my younger brother both ride Harleys. And really? I'm just like the older brother that doesn't. I burned my leg on one before, but I, I wasn't riding it. I was yeah. just trying to get to an ice cream truck that was nearby. Dude, I, I've, oh. I've gotten in so many fucking car accidents just driving. Yes. Yeah. I yes. did like over 20 total, like Are total you jobs. Yeah, terrible man. driver. So to add something like that into it, it's just like, I, it's dangerous. Yeah. No, you're just trying to preserve your life. I get it. Yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to live. Yeah. Fucking hog, dude. And then if you're riding your motorcycle, you have to have your Hannon's <laughs> Harley. Yeah, yeah. Like I saw like a dude drive by on a motorcycle a couple days ago, like a Harley. Yeah. And it was just like the most like the most stereotypical clothing he had on. He had the Hannum's fucking Harley yeah. Davidson black t-shirt on, sleeves yeah. cut off, yeah. Yeah. jean shorts. And you're like, this dude There's just not much got diversity This in dude just look. got took his suit it's, off from his job. Yeah. And like, this is his 45 minutes to pretend like he still has a dick yeah. and ride around <laughs> Springfield yeah. like a fucking outlaw. Yeah, make, He's cosplaying like he make noise. responsibilities. <laughs> yeah, just make yeah. like unnecessary noise to upset autistic kids. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> So what's up comedy wise? Like are you doing uh, yeah. any stand up? Yeah, I got a lot of stand up coming up. Um uh doing a show, uh one of Pat's shows uh, at the Brick and Brew. Oh, our good friend Pat House. Yes, Pat House. Oh yeah, shout out Pat House. Um, that's at uh, um the twenty first, I think. Brick and Brew Havertown? Yeah. It's like Darby and Eagle yep. Road, right? Yeah, that one, yeah. Is that like upstairs, like on their like patio type I've outdoor never, thing? Yeah, I've never been. I don't it's know. The it old might be. Uh, Oakmont. Yes, yes, the old yeah. Oakmont mm-hmm. pub. But, but there is, like, yeah, I saw that. The upstairs. Jamie Karen cool. holds court there sometimes. Shout out, shout nice. out, Jamie Karen. Yeah. Yeah. So Pat's not going to be there this time. Thank God. And oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's just me. I'll, I'll go then. It's yeah, me, I'll Chip, go. and uh, uh, Chip Chantry. Yeah, uh, yeah, Chip Chantry. Shout out, Chip Chantry. And um, uh, God, I, there's somebody else too, and I'm so sorry for forgetting their name uh, right now. Yeah, yeah. All we'll right. throw it in post. Uh, but but fucking yeah. a heartfelt shout out to them too. Yeah, heart heartfelt. Uh, Pagan's rule. Um, <laughs> can we clip that? Um, yes. Baddest dudes in the land. And then in July, I'm co-headlining Parks Casino, uh, the not the Excite Center, the small room inside yeah. the casino, uh, and that'll be fun too. When's that show? Yeah, that's July fourteenth, thirteenth uh, to Thursday. Nice. Yeah, that should be good. Tickets available online. Online uh, or just you know. Well, that slot machine. I'm sure something will come out. Yeah. yeah. It's just, just a ask, lock you're going to win. Just go to Parks Casino and just ask for tickets. And I'm sure they'll give it to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's incredible. That's great, man. Yeah. It's, um, so you got that coming up. You yeah. got Little Stinkers, yeah. which is rolling right now. Yeah, my favorite podcast. And you're starting an acoustic band coming up. Oh, you, you, no. you told me. You no. said, no, you're doing an open mic. Then you're going to start one. So uh, nah. We'll see you out on the, uh, on the music scene. The press conference of, uh, to announce our trio is not until uh, the yeah. end. Just, it's just me doing strictly Warren Zevon covers. And, uh, <laughs> you know, Warren's really appealing. Oh, dude, I love. Yeah, there we go. I like Warren. Yeah. Doing accidentally like a martyr. Yeah. But yeah, no. Excitable boy. Oh, man. That's, yeah. You know, my favorite. Keep me in your heart for a while is the encore. Beautiful. Before you, Beautiful. Before you head home for the My night. favorite Warren Zevon, uh, tenderness, tenderness on the block. Yep. It makes me, I don't have children, but it makes me picture myself with, with a daughter 
that's going on her prom. Yeah. And I get like choked up, like, like, Oh my God, like let her have her day. Yeah. And I'm sitting there like crying like a father. I'm like, I don't even have a fucking kid choked up because you're happy or choked up because it's not, she's not going to prom with the basketball player. You hoped she would. I, yeah. <laughs> the guy with the strong fundamentals. Yeah. I don't know, but I just cry a lot. As long days. as you're not uh, imagining to be the, the daughter of the girl on prom and excitable boy, then I think you're okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you know what? That's weird that now that you're bringing that up, does every single song involve a girl going to prom in his music? Hmm. The French mm. inhaler. There's a whole thing about under the seat. Werewolf in London. Style. Check. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd have to check, but uh, there's a yeah. song he does uh, that Bruce Springsteen plays lead guitar on. Okay. It's one of the fucking greatest solos I've ever heard. Springsteen. One of the greatest YouTube videos I've ever seen. Yes. If, if it's for the same. Because a lot of people will say Springsteen, he's not a guitar, but when he first started, he was a lead player. Yeah. So he has those chops, but he just never really shows it yeah. on that YouTube. You're like, okay, Bruce can play. Yeah. It's a great YouTube video. Yeah. It's, a, it's a handful of people in the studio, definitely inner circle. Yeah. It's Zevon and it's fucking That's Bruce, awesome. whatever. He listens to it one way through it, whatever. And then he lays down this solo and everyone's yeah. just, and it's incredible. Jaw drop. And then like great. he's done. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, it was pretty good. I, and then everyone's like, That's why he's the boss. I didn't realize he played lead guitar. That's wild. Yeah. That's sick, you figured dude. he never had to with such a great lead player like Richie Sambora. That was just to piss no, no. everyone off. If this was little stinkers, this would be Mike right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. <laughs> Until Jake would be like, that's what I yeah. you're, playing, you're playing too much. He's playing too much. Yeah. <laughs> He's playing too much. But Bruce, yeah. like that, I'm going to see him in August. I've seen, I love Bruce. Okay. And um, I think now it's from some of the clips on this tour. I mean, God bless him. He's fucking saying whatever. But now I'm, it's I'm just seeing paying it, your respects. Yeah. And I'm seeing him age a little bit. Respects. like Because I remember 10 years ago seeing him. And yeah. it was religious. It was a religious experience. Like yeah. I, he was like, his voice was sharp, but yeah. now I'm seeing an older man. He looks in, is about as good as you can look for being an older man. Would you? Bruce? Yes. When do you think I was peak Springsteen? Spre his first three albums. Yeah. First three. Okay. And then yep. it's just been a slow decline. Ever, ever since, since after born in the uh, darkness on the edge of ta town. Yeah. It's a slow decline. 92 at the vet. What was that? You his think one. that was his decline or no, no, little no, context? That was, it. It that was, was like, peak. Oh, that was no, peak. No, no, peak, no, no, peak was peak was seventy two to seventy nine. What about Super Bowl crotch cam? Do you was know? That, was that? Do you know they don't? There is one of the best moments. They don't get paid for the Super Bowl. You yeah, know that? I didn't know. That. I didn't know that. I thought yeah. they did. They don't get paid, no. and they don't so, play their instruments, and they don't play their. It's that's why I've never done the Super Bowl. That's, it's just by by principle. I, I need to get it. paid for my yeah. work. That's why. Yeah, I need to get paid for my work. It's just kind of like the cornerstone of what I'm about. Fuck. Yeah. So before you call me to do a funeral lunch, and keep that in mind. <laughs> favorite, bro. favorite Super Bowl halftime? Yeah. Mine's probably Prince. Mine Prince in the rain, especially because oh it, it started raining at the right time. Dude, yeah. Janet Jackson, man, no, no contest. <laughs> yeah, you saw her too. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah. I, I hate the some agree, things transcend music. Prince was that Prince one was, was he was above and beyond. Like, yeah. It, he, it, yeah, they sold it. it only one like, or two people can get away with being condescending, rude, just because they're so fucking great. It's pretty much half in Prince. Yeah. But like, he would like look at him and like, if he, he won't even talk to you and you're like, oh my God, that's Prince. Oh my God. Yeah. He just told me to go take the trash out. I never cared about well, the I'm halftime show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a mic over there? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, we need a mic. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to be participating. Sorry. No, yeah. No, no. It's kind of messed up that he doesn't have a mic, but Lucy's wearing one around a lav around her neck. That's crazy. Lucy. Around her waist. Why is yeah. it there? Jesus. That's right. It's the dog heavy breathing, not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, be sure you check out Jake Matara on the uh, the Little Stinkers podcast. Yes, yep. sir. Also a frequent guest on Dad Meet. Yeah, yeah, we had, we were fun, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Put all of his links below. Yeah, right. we'll, we'll link to everything. Mm -hmm. Some big shows coming up. Parks. Yeah. Um, yeah, lots coming up. So thanks a lot to Jake for swinging through tonight. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Big fan big fan of you and a big fan of Blue yeah. Sun. Oh, dude. You know that. Yeah, yeah. You know, appreciate it. Real one. <laughs>